factoring made easy. Our objective, I can solve quadratic equation by factoring. Let's do this. x squared plus 7x plus 12. How are you going to factor this? Look at the last number and the middle number. x squared plus 7x plus 12. We are going to think of two numbers. When we multiply, the answer is 12. But when we add it, the answer is 7. Or think of factors of 12 that when you add will give you 7. Let's begin. x squared plus 7x plus 12. Let's look for the factors of 12. 1 times 12 is 12. But if we add them together, 1 plus 12, the answer is 13. Eh, not, that's not it. Another factor. 6 times 2. Yes, it is 12. But let's try to add it. 6 plus 2 is 8. And that's not it. Let's try again. x squared plus 7x plus 12. Factors of 12. 3 times 4 is 12. Let's try to add them. 3 plus 4 is 7. You got it. The factors are x plus 3 and x plus 4. We got it. Let's check it. x plus 3, x plus 4. Let's do the FOIL method. x times x is x squared. The outer x times 4 is plus 4x. The inner 3 times x 3x and the last 3 times 4 is 12 we got it x squared plus 7x plus 12 just like that one more time x squared minus 9x plus 20 how are you going to factor this again focus on the last number and the middle number. 20. Think of two numbers. When you multiply, the answer is 20. But when you add them, the answer is negative 9. Or think of factors of 20 that when you add will give you negative 9. Let's do this. Factors of 20. Let's try 2 times 10. Yes, that is 20. But if we add them together, 2 plus 10, the answer is 12. Eh, that's wrong. Another factor. 4 times 5. The answer is 20. But if we add them, the answer is 9, positive 9. Eh, that's not it. What's the answer for this one? 20. The factors of 20. Negative 5 times negative 4. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's positive 20. If you add two negative numbers, the answer is negative Negative 5 plus negative 4 is negative 9. Correct! Our factors are x minus 5 and x minus 4. We got it! Now, let's check it. x minus 5, x minus 4. We're going to use the FOIL method. First, x times x is x squared. O, the outer part, x times negative 4, 
negative 4x, the I, the inner part, negative 5 times x, that's negative 5x, and the L for last, negative 5 times negative 4 is positive 20. We got it, x squared minus 9x plus 20. Just like that. Your turn, x squared plus 3x plus 2. How are you going to factor this? Yes, focus on the last number and the middle number. You're right. x squared plus 3x plus 2. The last number is 2. Hmm. We're going to think of two numbers. When we multiply, the answer is 2. But when we add it, the answer is 3. Or think of factors of 2 that when you add will give you 3. Hmm. You can do this. x squared plus 3x plus 2. Think of factors of 2. I can only think 1, and that is 1 times 2. And when we add 1 and 2, the answer is 3. We got it! The factors are x plus 1 and x plus 2. Just like that. Now, let's check it x plus 1, x plus 2. We're going to use the FOIL method. x times x. The first, the f. The answer is x squared. The o, the outer part. x times 2 plus 2x. The i for inner. 1 times x plus 1x or positive x. And the L, the last term, 1 times 2 is 2. x squared plus 3x plus 2. We got it. Let's do this. x squared plus 3x minus 4. How are you going to factor this? First, look at the last number, negative 4. And the middle number, which is positive 3. We're going to think of two numbers. When we multiply, the answer is negative 4. But when we add it, the answer is 3. Or think of factors of negative 4 that when you add will give you 3. Let's begin. Negative 4. Let's try 2 times negative 2. Yes, the answer is negative 4. But when we add them, 2 plus negative 2, the answer is 0. And that's not it. Let's try another one. Negative 4 times 1. The answer is negative 4. But let's try to add it. Negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. And no, that's not the answer. One more try. What are the factors of negative 4? Let's see. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. And when we add negative 1 plus 4, the answer is 3. We got it. The factors are x minus 1, x plus 4. We got it. Just like that. Let's check it. x minus 1, x plus 4. x times x, x squared. x times 4, plus 4x. Negative 1 times x, negative 1x. Negative 1 times 4, negative 4. x squared plus 3x, minus 4. We got it! 
Additional practice. Again, our objective, solve quadratic equation by factoring. Number one, x squared plus 7x plus 6. Let's think of factors of 6. That when we multiply, the answer is 6. And when we add, the answer is 7. 6 times 1, the answer is 6. And when we add 6 plus 1, the answer is 7. We get it. The factors are x plus 6, x plus 1. Just like that. Now, let's check it using the FOIL method. F for first term, x times x, x squared. The O for the outer term, x times 1, 1x. One the I for the inner term, 6 times x, plus 6x. And the L for the last term. 6 times 1 is 6. x squared plus 7x plus 6. We got it. Let's try number 2. x squared minus 6x plus 8. Again, we're going to think of factors. When we multiply, the answer is positive 8. But when we add, the answer is negative 6. We have negative 2 times negative 4. The answer is positive 8. And when we add them, the answer is negative 6. We got it. The factors are x minus 2 and x minus 4. Just like that. Now, let's check it. Using the FOIL method. F, first term, x times x, x squared. The O for outer term, x times negative 4, negative 4x. The I for the inner term, negative 2 times x, negative 2x. And the L for the last term, negative 2 times negative 4, positive 8. We got it, x squared minus 6x plus 8. It's time to test your skills. Your objective, solve quadratic equation by factoring. Number 1, x squared plus 9x plus 18. Number 2, x squared plus 4x minus 5. Number 3, x squared plus 8x plus 7. Number 4, x squared plus 5x minus 6. Number 5, x squared plus 7x plus 10. You can pause this video if you need more time.
Number 6. x squared plus 11x plus 24. Number 7. x squared plus 2x minus 15. Number 8. x squared plus 9x plus 8. Number 9. x squared minus 5x plus 4. And number 10. x squared plus 8x plus 12. You can pause this video if you need more time.